Jersey. Welcome to Ledger Live. Well, Princeton did it. Voters here in Princeton Township and voters here in Princeton Borough have decided to stop the madness, bury the hatchet, and become one. Now, this merger took several votes and years to accomplish, and even in the end, not everyone was down with it. A lot of voters here in the smaller, more densely developed borough were worried that the borough would somehow lose its character. Its boroughness, they called it. They really used that word. The, uh, are you out enjoying the boroughness today? We are enjoying the borough. I have my nephew here from. Boroughness. The boroughness, is that what they call it? I think we have like cubness and bareness <laughs> in Chicago, and bullness, but not uh, boroughness. I see you're out enjoying the boroughness. Yes, I am. It's very lovely around here right now. You know what boroughness means? <laughs> no. You know, over the past year, Ledger Live has crisscrossed the state touring towns that shouldn't exist. Horrible examples of our state's 560 plus municipalities creating layers of expensive government, podunk towns with no political clout, and two bit political fiefdoms. And we've heard this argument all the time from people who fear if their town merges with another, it will lose its identity. Well, listen, if your town takes its identity from its municipal government, I don't want to live in your town. Right, buddy? This argument also ignores a huge fact that all across the state there are communities that are already part of larger municipalities that haven't lost their character or their identities or their boroughness. They're towns that people think exist but don't exist. Here's one. Ocean Grove. Now, lots of people think it's its own town, but it's actually an unincorporated community, part of Neptune Township. But it's still very much its own place. The gingerbread architecture, the ban on booze and the blue laws. Ask people here if they think this place has had its boroughness cramped because it's part of Neptune Township. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, we, are, we still consider ourselves Ocean Grove. Uh, it's the same as any town within a township. Do you have any idea who the mayor of Ocean Grove is? No, I don't. But I love how the town is kept, so obviously he's doing something good. How about this guy who's owned a store here for 25 years? Think he misses Ocean Grove having its own government? Uh, do you know who the mayor of Ocean Grove is? No. no I don't. I have no idea. There is no mayor of Ocean Grove. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. When you think of uh, where your store is, do you think... It's in Neptune Township, or do you think no. Ocean Grove? Ocean Grove. It doesn't hurt the boroughness of the, of the town? Not a bit. Let's move on to Short Hills. Don't tell people here that they actually live in Milburn. It's one government, but two places, bub. Get it straight. Your parents live in Milburn or Short Hills? Short Hills, right down the street. They've now, lived there for 52 years. Do they ever say that they live in Milburn? No, they don't live in Milburn. They live in Short Hills. I lived in Park Symphony for 20 years, and I, I had absolutely no idea that Short Hills was not a town between the <laughs> cachet that there is for living here, the Short Hills Mall, Short Hills Train Station, I always thought it was its own, own town. Bring it down a notch in your mind that it's not its own town, doesn't have its own police department. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Short Hills down one one little notch. That's fair enough. Yeah. Do you feel like they're two separate places or one one town? Or how does it feel to you? Oh, it's definitely two different places. So there you go, Princeton. Don't be afraid to lose your boroughness. How about your town? Are you listening? Freehold, Chester, Mendham, Fanwood, Sussex, Metuchen, Alpha, Bordentown, Chatham, Highbridge, Lebanon, Red Bank, Jamesburg, Flemington, Guttenberg.